Welcome to our home demonstration day. So, and an MC Alstor will be with Rachel today from Telem. Okay. So, my name is Rachel. Yeah. I'm a property. Okay. So, what it is is I'm basically going to take you through everything today around your property to help you, support you. Let's have a look around. Because then it gets all the excitement out of the way. You can open all the doors, cupboards, windows. Yeah. Okay. So the far left hand dial, which has got the numbers in it, the one to five or one to four skew, to zero to four skew, yeah. that's your pressure gauge. Okay, so if it's sitting at between one and two, perfect, it's just like just above one. Okay. If for any reason when you have your heating and hot water on, it goes to three, turn it off immediately and call us. Okay, because that basically means it's overheating. Oh, it's right. overworking, if that makes sense. Yeah. Well, it's be between one and two. Yep, so can you see the slight green oh, mark? That's absolutely green. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. as long as it's in that mark, you will be fine. Yeah. Okay. If for any reason you go to turn it on and it's at a zero, that means that there's pressure needed in the system. Again, um, you yeah. can call us for that and we can report it. Okay. But it's filling looks, yeah. You see that? They've got a the tag. There's two black turn turntables in there. Basically, when you turn them, to go. And obviously that will be really pressurise the system for you. Okay. And then what you should see when you turn it on is when it's a zero, it will start to go up towards one. Once it gets to one, turn it off. Okay. It's putting up to kind of your hot water temperature. You've got a dial in the middle, so if I turn on your hot water, you can start to see it. Okay, that's so mine. So for me, I live in the table and take my way to sleep. You never know with British summers, it might go particularly cold, who knows? But that is your boy, basically. So that's 
establish your hot water and your blood shake mode if you like. So this book here is your installation and service guide, okay? So you'll have here, this is your gas safety certificate, your instructions for your showers, which I'm sure you guys are going to be a masterful of. But basically what we advise is every year on the anniversary of your room completion, you need to get it serviced. So basically, this is when it was originally serviced on the 1st of July. Um, and this is how you do a service that's on the of carrots. However, you just need to hire someone to do the service of these Okay, so you do that on the year of your anniversary. Yeah. And they will come in and they will test the system and make sure it's working for okay. So one, one, once a year you need to do it, and then obviously I'll just for you. It just gives you handy tips, basically, what the meter looks like. And then on the back, it's got like your meter code. So if there's ever any problems and your water meter, you can give them that, and they'll be able to find it. Your water meter is in your front garden. I will show you that before we go. Because it's a smart meter, so what it looks like now is, is pretty much like this. You won't see annual water that attends your property to take a reading. It's all sent through to them digitally. Okay? The other suppliers for the property are British Gas for electric and um, gas, obviously. And Anglia Water for this. So this is on British Gas already. British yeah. Gas already. Now what we advise with it is Taylor Willoughby will take the final reading yeah. the morning of completion. Okay. We pay for that. Yeah. We will give you obviously all the copies of the meter readings yeah. and we'll submit them to your new energy suppliers of British Gas and Water. Okay. What we then advise you do, wait four weeks for the bill to come through the post and then pay the bill. Because then it will have your customer information number on it. And then you can set up your new account. Or, because if not, if you set it up too early, it confuses them. And my mind is you end up getting two bills, which is not property. So you've got your hob, your extractor, excuse me, your fridge freezer just behind here, your double oven, dishwasher, and washing machine. Okay. Now, obviously, these are, these are all installed by our colleagues at um, the appliance team. The appliances are the only thing we don't cover on our warranty, um, okay? So you have to register them with your individual manufacturer. So you've got Sanusi, Electrolux, Sanusi, and these are also Sanusi. Yep, so you've got Sanusi. So you need to obviously register them first thing. Sanusi and Electrolux are the same company, okay? So you should be able to register that the same time you register this. Okay. So it's all owned by Hotpoint. So, in order to register them, we have to give you some serial codes. So this is your master sheet, and it tells you your product, electric hob, Electrolux, the code, and the serial number. Okay. Now I'm gonna send you today, I'm gonna send you an email with this on as well, so it's a little bit easier for you guys to read it and see it, yeah. and you'll also have a copy on your all times. Okay. okay? So, bedtime reading is your <laughs> is all of your appliances if you wish to. <laughs> Most of them you may have used before in other properties. Yeah. So, got in here your shower screens. So, you've got one in your own suite and one in your bathroom. We also recommend that you register one. Ah, okay. And then the final things in the box are that's your instructions for your thermostats. Okay. So, it's really nice bedtime reading again. This one is so boring. <laughs> Um, I mean, well, the only reason I'd read this one is because obviously if you do want to set it to a specific time for you guys, yeah. it's telling how to do it. Okay. This is the instructions for your fire alarms. So you don't have one in the kitchen, but you have three in the property. Okay. So you have one in the kitchen. So, basically, regulations changed. And unfortunately, a lot of fire brigades are getting called out for burnt toast or burnt bacon. And obviously, it's a waste, and they get, there's a charge for the, you know, we all have to take as part of our council tax. So, as a result, they asked us to remove it into the landing, the hallway, and either your sitting room or your top floor bedroom, depending on the type of house. But the instructions there. I will go through the fire alarms with you anyway. Okay. You've got a carbon monoxide monitor, which is just on your ceiling. Okay, so ultimately, if you do have a leak in your property, yes. that's going to alert you, yep. basically, and it would probably be from your gas boiler. Okay? Okay. okay, now the only thing to make you aware of is that time from time the power may die in it because it's only battery operated. Okay. So, 
Yeah. Don't stop. Okay. You have to change it every so often, basically. But it depends on how often it's alerted out. Okay. If it's not alerted out, you might find it could be five years before you need to change it. Oh, but okay. there's a you can see it says power and fault. Yeah. So if any of those have a light, so you see the green light needs power coming to it. Yeah. If there is a fault, it's like an amber or a red light. Yeah. And you just take it's just on a little light velcro, but take it to the open. So okay. what this basically is in all of your wet rooms, so bathrooms, plate rooms, en yeah. suites, kitchens, anywhere that there's a sink basically. Okay. You have an extractor. So what basically happens is this cap at the front just twists off. And then underneath it you have a list of settings. Which looks like this. Basically. And you can see that's what it looks like with it off. So underneath where that circle element is, there's a fan that goes out all the time. And what that's doing is taking moisture out of the property. Now, because you have windows, you have the additional extra of being able to boost the fan. So it's this button here. So what it does is it takes out moisture, lovely cooking. If there's no more moisture in the room, it will go off. It goes on. It goes on. You have to turn it off, but if there's no more, so if you've not got any hob work or nothing's cooking or nothing's going on in your washing, that will turn off your washing. If there's still moisture in the room, it will turn a boost. Opening of your vents at the top here as well, so you've got mechanical vents. So you can just push them in if you wish to push them in. But we advise you leave them open. Okay, so that's locked, right? So yeah. that's okay. Yeah, that's open. That means that even when the window is closed, mm -hmm. It can still take out moisture, <coughs> moisture from the property. Put it on. Obviously, the drum is obviously been tested. This is a seven kilogram seven. wash, so you can have, you know, it's quite, quite a large size. Obviously, you can just change it to whatever wash you want. The most common is mix or easy wire or twenty minute. Okay, oh, twenty minutes. So if you want to do a quick wash, you can just do that one basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chuck your bits in. Um, obviously, if you've got to use a tablet, you can pop it in the drum. I'm sure you can use The dishwasher, blue, blue dial. If you come towards this end, you can see it better. You can see just down there. Basically, yeah, for like up to four weeks. So at the moment, it's literally just like a flat slab of turf. Um, I can. I don't think I've got, it's not as yours is one over the road that I'm doing next. Theirs has literally been laid this morning. Okay. Um, so it takes four to six weeks for the turf to root. Okay. Once it's rooted, um, then you've just got to like stay off it as much as possible because you can see at the moment there's like patchwork. You see where it's all been lined? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What happens oh, yeah. is once it starts to root, the lines will go okay. and then you can start to cut it, etc. Uh, but at the moment, you just need to try and keep it as wet as possible. Okay. So we're doing the middle. Thank you guys for watching my video and I'll be seeing you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not done so.